Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and I need to this tutorial learn about how to install JupyterLab. So JupyterLab is more like Jupyter Notebook, but it's having more features. So there are two main methods that is to use the Python pa package manager that is pip, right? Install and it's for the Python package manager pip install JupyterLab, right? It is the first method of installing. So because I've already installed it, it's going to tell me that it's satisfied. Eh? Okay, that's the first method. So after that. Just move on to this to add to enable the server extension with this command. The command will be below. Okay, that is the first method of installing. So the next method is to use the conda. That is if you have an Aconda already installed. So you go with conda install C, then conda forge, right? Then you add the name of the packet of Jupyter. Do you want to store Jupyter Lab? So this is the second method of installing it. Okay, so let's see the features of Jupyter Lab. So to start the server of Jupyter Lab, go with Jupyter Lab. This must be separated. Okay, so let's see how it is done. You're going to use your default default browser to open. So Jupyter Lab is more like Jupyter Notebook, but it's having a lot of features, which is very very useful and very. It's a good work they have done. The Jupyter team has done. It's very nice for data analytics. Okay, so to automatically use our browser. So if it's not open, just use this. Copy this one, then you paste it. What is opening it for us? Okay, very nice. Okay, so that is how to install it. So quite useful so this is the launcher so when we open this to give you the launcher to add another launcher just go to this place and you add another launcher right so these are the notebooks it just comes with everything that the normal Jupyter notebook comes with comes with the files wherever you can select the folders it's like the normal one then it's having the commands the normal shortcuts for each and every of them and then it's having the cell tools like to change it to Markdown and then slice sheet all these things you can do it here with this normal one Okay, so and it's also having the tabs. So these are the tabs which have been open here So to launch a notebook can just select one. So let's go to July 6 Click on this like this and then it's going to open the notebook for us. So that is it So everything works perfectly to rename it. You just click on it like this and then rename so it's going to be Julia and then everything works perfectly so hello Julia right so that is it so everything works perfectly so that is it the main thing about it there so, so they give you the option of using the console so let's try with the Python console so you see that is here if I print a to hello world it just automatically works perfectly and the one thing about it is that like it gives you the option of the console as well as the normal notebook and then there are set, 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 certain features you can let me increase it you can drag it here over see that i've dragged it up and over that's one nice and then you can also click on this to put it down just like the normal one so that is quite useful and quite nice for the jupyter notebook or for the jupyter lab okay there are several things you can also do there are some of the small features about it so Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or contribution, you can just put it inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit. Stay blessed.